it does not look as bad. I mean, it's kind of cute, you know? Let's hop right into it. So this is a new tinted moisturizer from the drugstore. Um, this is from Black Radiance and this is their new, I guess, tinted moisturizer. <laughs> it just says tinted moisturizer on the packaging here. It says that it's new as well. So I grabbed it. I was in there for one thing and ended up seeing this. I'm like, oh, let me try it. Um, it does have sunscreen in it. Um, broad spectrum SPF 15 is in here. It says hydrate, color correct, all of that here on the packaging. I'm like, okay, what is this? Um, it does come with a pump. So that's kind of neat. Uh, so the pump looks like, and so yeah. So I was like, let's give this a try. Now I do have the shade uh, dark to deep. I kind of tore the thing off. Dark to deep neutral is the shade. The shade range I saw in CVS wasn't great. And then I went online and looked on the website um, and I saw what this is apparently new to at Target. Looks like there's not a, a variety of shade ranges, of course, it's a tinted moisturizer, but they're labeled as like light, light to medium, medium to deep and stuff like that. That's how they're labeled is what I did see. And I also went on Black Radiance uh, Instagram page to see if this has been talked about. I didn't see anything about it. So I'm like, okay, I've not seen about talk about this yet. So I figured why not go ahead and give it a shot and try it on with y'all. Um, since this seems to be the year of skin, everybody's doing skin like foundations, tinted moisturizers, all that. Let's go ahead and apply it on. I'm kind of scared because this looks like it's super dark and it looks, looks ashy to me. In the tube here, kind of looks a little ashy, like an ashy gray kind of color. I don't know. I'm going to pump it out though and see how it looks on the hand. I do like it has a pump on it, like drugstore is coming for the next baby. There it goes. Ooh. Ooh, child, it look ashy black. <laughs> Not ashy black, ashy brown. Look at that. Child, I don't know. Mm -hmm. The other option I saw was medium to dark, I think. And I was like, I don't know. Medium to dark look a little too uh, light. And it looked more orangey like in the tube to me. So I figured it's best to go darker maybe. So I can kind of fix it with concealer and stuff. So I'm taking my... I wasn't gonna do a spoon. I'm taking my brush. So anyway, let's go ahead and just um try to mix this up on a hand. Child, it look... Ooh. You see that ash? It looks really ashy already. Mm, this could be another fail. Like that last tint of moisturizer I tried from the drugstore. Ooh, mm -mm. <laughs> it looks terrible already. Oh, wow. Way too dark. Let's try this. Just put it mm, on the perimeter of, my, perimeter of my face. Look how muddy that's looking though. It looks a little patchy. Is it just me? And tap it in. Ooh, I don't know. Like the um, Maybelline I tried. Their tinted moisturizer. And some people were saying they liked it and other folks were just complete fail. Um, okay, let me just tap in on the outer parts, outer, outer parts of my face. And y'all, this is such an impulse video. Like I didn't even plan on this for the week. Um, I was planning on doing my e.l.f. video, their powders um, that I ordered. And they're back there, you probably see the boxes right there. But yeah, I kind of don't have the time to do it today. So I saw this and I was in the drugstore. I was like, okay, let me try this out. This looks new. Um, so yeah, this is definitely too dark. We know that. Look at that. Oh my god, it looks terrible. Mmm, terrible. Take some more though. But I kind of like when foundations don't work out or tinted moisturizers, whatever, kind of like are too dark and you know it's not working out because I can like finesse it. Really helps me to you know learn how to balance stuff out when it's like way too dark. But yeah. Whoo, I don't know. I don't know. This ain't working. You know what? I want to try something new. Um, I'm going to mix it. It's kind of oxidizing, look like to me, or is it? I'm trying to just focus it on the outer parts of my face and not bring it inward. Yeah, this is looking like a fail, which, you know, I kind of was concerned that it would be looking in the tube. I was like, this looks like it's way too dark, but I didn't have many other options to work with. Um, like I said, CVS only had limited shades in the store, but we're going to try to finesse this here thing. Now that we know that that's too dark, hmm, I'm going to take this e.l.f. Uh, 16 hours is a matte one. Dang. This e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade um, Deep Chestnut. Gonna take that and kind of try to level this thing out, girl. <laughs> You're looking super muddy. Ooh, this is terrible. Mm. Ah, wait a minute. Before I go in with this, let's see. Be right back. <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna try to take a little bit of this Fenty skin tint. I do have it in 20, shade 20. Gonna take this as an instant. Shake it up some. I probably should have mixed it anyways on my hand before I went on and applied it, but it's fine. We're gonna mix it or try to mix it anyways with some of my hand. This is very, very uh you know yellowish to me. So and I have some yellow in my skin. Um we're gonna try to look how dark it is. It did oxidize. Wow, look at how bad it oxidized. It's super dark on my face. This is terrible. All right, but anyways, I'm gonna mix it here, try to pick it from my brush. Just be fun to try to balance it out, you know, play your makeup. 
mix it all or see if we can make some shake. I should not have went in with so much of it, I feel like, but we're gonna try a little something, some. Take more of that skin tint. See if we can kind of bring the face back. It's looking like a no. Another major fail, just kind of like the Maybelline was. Huge fail. We're gonna keep moving though, just to see how I can come out with just everything else on with it. See if we can make it look like something. All right, now let's go into the camo concealer. This is from e.l.f. Um, this one is the one that's matte, so you definitely got to move fast with this here thing. Take a little bit. I'm going to use a lot more than I normally would of concealer to kind of get it to, like, hopefully balance out. I'm using my sponge for this. And I do not let this sit because it dries super fast, so I'm going to move quick and blend it. It looks a little bit better around that area with the concealer now. I'm going to take it around the mouth here. Areas where it's definitely darker. On my mouth and see if we can fix it. This looks really crazy, but trust the process of makeup, girl. All right, so... This is how this side is looking with the concealer added. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Let's keep going. I want to see how it's going to look in the end. Let's just keep going, trusting the process. So that's how it's looking so far with the e.l.f. concealer added. It's kind of coming back to life a little bit. See that? Okay. The finish, I will say the finish of this tinted moisturizer looks to be nice. It's just that, mm -mm, baby, that is too dark. Like I said, y'all, I did not have the option to choose any better of a shade because the other one was way too light. That was obvious. So I just said, okay, I guess it's better to go a little bit deeper. Um, That way the concealer can definitely help to balance it out. It don't always work out with new products and stuff. Trying new products, it doesn't always work out. So it's kind of fun. I feel like when stuff doesn't work, it teaches you to you know, better mix and match stuff and to just kind of learn more, you know, when it comes to makeup and making stuff work that doesn't work, I feel like. So, and this clearly doesn't work. If you skipped around to this part of the video, <laughs> we know it don't work. We know that the shade is too dark. Uh, that is why we're doing a lot of mixing with the concealer. Um, we added in the Fenty Skin Tint in shade 20 to kind of try to lighten up this very, very deep, uh, dark tinted moisturizer from Black Radiance. Um, it'll be interesting to get my right shade though. I don't know, Target, I have a better shade range, but CVS did not have that great of a shade range. It wasn't that deep, so. But anyways, I feel like it's kind of balancing out though, everything else. This is a good concealer though, y'all. Uh, hands down, the best drugstore concealer is e.l.f. And the face is kind of back already. Do y'all see that? Like, she kind of back. I feel like y'all, this can be like a contour for me. Um, if I want to use this to contour my face or something like that, other than that, no sir, that ain't gonna work. But um, with everything else on right now, it's looking kind of decent though. Definitely not dragging it down my neck because my neck is darker than my um chest and my face, but it's definitely not that dark to drag this deep colored um tinted moisturizer from black, black <laughs> from black radiance down to my neck is not that deep. So. so yeah, that's how we looking now after adding in the Fenty Skin Tint and adding in the Elf Concealer. So yeah, and I feel like we're adding that deeper skin tint. I definitely have no need to even really bronze for real. If I didn't want to bronze, I don't have to because that's a deep enough of a color already. So this is how we looking now with adding everything else on it. The skin still is really good though, actually. So yeah. I think it looks decent now. Like I feel like I brought the color back to my face. Adding in the Fenty and then adding in also that concealer. So yeah, that's how you make a foundation that's too dark work for you. The trick is you can either mix it with another lighter foundation or a lighter concealer, or um, like I just did, I, I added in the skin tint that's a lot lighter, or you can just go in with a ton of concealer, <laughs> a lighter color concealer like the e.l.f. here, and um, kind of balance out the deep color that way. But thus far, she ain't looking bad, you know? Um, but anyways, I don't know what I can say about the potential moisturizer for now because it is very dark. Again, I did get the shade dark to deep because this was the darkest shade. Ooh, my nails. Um, this was the darkest shade that they had for me to kind of work with. But the finish of this, I mean, the finish looked nice. It does say hydrating, of course. Um, hydrate, color correct, all that. So color correct, I can't say anything about that because it's just too deep for me. But as far as hydrating, I do like the finish of it. You know what I'm saying? I did kind of just add in a little bit of that skin tint, um, more so on the outer, outer parts where it was really, really the dark so um it's good though actually so yeah this looks like it's new in a block so maybe you know if you see it in your local drugstore or uh cvs or not cvs target or walmart i would say you know try it out um the price i forgot the price i will have it on the screen i'll have to be on the screen by now the price of it uh the details on it all that kind of stuff more details that i can find i have on the screen for it so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish out uh, my face i will let y'all see the powders i use too to kind of tone everything down and bring the face back
So this is what the face is looking like with everything else. I just, you know, did just did my little lashes and a little eyeshadow real quick. Um, y'all, I mean, it looks dark to me still. Um, probably could have color corrected around the mouth some here, but you know, other than that, I mean, the finish of this mixed in with everything else, I did mix other stuff in with it. Does not look as bad. I mean, it's kind of cute, you know? It's something, you know, what I wear this again? No, it's the wrong shade. Of course I would not. Um, But since I bought it, I just want to play around with it to see what I could do to make it look like something. I feel like this looks decent enough. Comment below and let me know what you think about it. But y'all, this new, well, it's not new, I don't think, but this is from Wet n Wild. This is the ultimate brow kit. I use this on my brows today and I've never really been a powder brow type chick, but I love how they look. One is a little, you know, thicker than the other one, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> I like the natural fluffy look. That looks really, that looks really good. Like, I like that. And it was really pigmented too. Like you get two colors here. Um, I use this one and then this is a brow, this is a brow wax right here at the top. And I was just like, I like this. And the brow wax is really good. It really set them into place too. Like, I like how they look. I mean, mm, okay, wet and wild. That's some really good products too. But anyways, y'all, that's gonna conclude this video. Comment below if you enjoyed this, a different kind of little video. Um, everything doesn't always work out with new products. You know what I'm saying? So I thought, was, I thought it would be a little fun just to kind of still continue with the video. At first, and I put it on, I was like, ooh, they're a trash it, <laughs> trash whole video. But I feel like, you know, it kind of came together a little bit. You know, it's not perfect, but I think we did okay with bouncing it out. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor, go down below and thumbs it up. Comes the video spread to my viewers once y'all do that. And if you enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. I'd love to have you. I do post consistently on YouTube on Wednesdays around about five o'clock-ish, sometime be a little later, but it's even on Wednesday. And I also do a lot of bonus uploads as well. And I actually have a whole playlist of all of my trying on, testing, new makeup playlist here on my channel. Check that out after the video. Let's upload. I'll see you next time. Bye. It's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you.